Shalom Chevre, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be a brief explanation of how you answer, answer the questions on Google Docs. So this is our assignment, and the first question is how do you obtain a Google Docs account? And what you do is you simply record the question, how to open a Google Docs account on the area in any search engine. And you click here. And if I were to click here, I would actually get to this page. This is how you create a Google Docs or any type of Google account. You record your name, your password, you re-enter the password and complete the following information. And after you complete the information, you just click on this particular button and you create an account. So let's go to the next question. The next question is how to create a document on Google Docs. So I have created a Google Docs account Here's my name. This is Google Docs. And let's say I want to create a document. So I click on Create. Click on the word Document. Give this document a name by clicking on that particular area. Let's call this Sample Document. Click OK. And there is a sample document. Now, if I want to change the alignment, and I want to write the name of the document as sample document, there it is. And I can bold it. I can italicize it. I can underline it. I can even change its color if I wished. And that is how I create a document. So let's find out the next question. The next question is how do I create a PowerPoint presentation on Google Docs? All right, let's do that. Let's go to my Google Docs homepage. And you see where create is? I click on create. And I now click on Presentation. Once again, let's click on Untitled Presentation and give it a name. All right, let's give it a name. Let's call it Sample Presentation. And we can also call this sample presentation the uh, name of this particular portion of the slide presentation. And again, you have the option to change the uh, font and italicize, etc. And you have lots of other things that you can do, which we won't go into right now, but that is how you create a sample presentation. So let's look for the next question. How do you find and restore an earlier version of a document or PowerPoint presentation on Google Docs? That's a great question. So, let's take Actually, let's take this document that we're on, the Group Web Tools assignment for the toolbox. And if I wanted to get to a revision, an earlier revision of this document, I click where it says Revision. And I could just simply click on any of these items here. Let's say I wanted the revision 
of February 17th. I just click here, and if I wanted to get to that revision, I would click over here. Let me show you one more time how to do that. I go to the File menu. I go down to See Revision History. And I can get to any revision that I had made earlier. So if I wanted to get to this revision, February 8th, 405, I just would click on Restore This Vision. And I would get to the one that was created at that particular time. All right, let's close the revision history and get to the next question. The next question is, how do you share a document or PowerPoint presentation from your Google Docs? This is very account. This is very similar to the question of how do you control who can view and edit your Google Docs and PowerPoint presentations on your Google Docs account. Well, what you do is you click on the share button right over here. Right now, anyone with the link has access to this document. Okay? But if I wanted to change that, I can change it by clicking here and I can make it public on the web instead of anyone with the link, or I can make it private. All right? By the way, this is the URL for this particular document, so I can copy this URL, this address, and send it to people whose email addresses I know, place their email address in here, and then they can view this as well. I also have the right to change the and control what they can do. For example, it says here Elaine can edit it, but if I only want her to comment on it, I would make it comment. If I wanted her simply to view it, I would change the uh, control of that mechanism, but I want to allow Elaine to edit it, and then we just save changes hit done. And that is how you can share a document or PowerPoint presentation and how you can control who can view and edit a document. The next question is how do you upload a document from your computer onto your Google Docs? All right, let's show you how to upload something. Let's go to my Google Docs homepage. And if I want to upload something, I click on this icon. You see this icon right over here? I click it and then click on the word files and that will take me to my computer files and all I have to do is click on a particular file and click open and it actually will upload the file from my computer onto the Google Docs so that is how you upload a document from your computer onto your Google Docs account. Let's find out the next question. The next question is how do you upload a PowerPoint presentation from your computer onto your Google Docs? And the answer is you do the exact same thing. You go to your home page, you go to upload, you go to Files, and you simply find a PowerPoint presentation, such as this, and you hit Open, and it will upload it onto your Google Docs account. Let's get to the next question. The next question is, how do you download a document or PowerPoint from your Google Docs account to your computer? All right, so let's say I wanted to download this document. Group Web Tools Assignment. I go to the File menu right over here and I go down to where it says Download and I could download this as an, an open uh, document file, PDF file, an RTF file, a text file, a Word file, or an HTM file. 
just click on these files, whichever one you want to download, and you will then have it downloaded onto your computer. So if I wanted this to be a Word file, I just click here and it would download to my computer. All right, what's the next question? How do you print a document or PowerPoint on Google Docs? That's very simple. Here is my Google document on Group Web Tools. We go to File and we simply click on Print. And you get to this particular document. And you just click Print and you'll be able to print it. So, this basically is uh, represents the answers to the questions that we posed. We hope that this was helpful.